No, 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 no. I am so glad this is coming up. I want to prove that I'm an equal opportunity attacker. 61% of the United States do not support a woman's right to choose. 50% support a woman's right to choose. And 11% would rather pay lower taxes. That, that's, the, that's the fact of the situation. You, you can't judge people by what they would like. You have to judge by, by their action. And their actions are that they may disagree with their party's stands. They don't disagree enough to not vote for them. That's it. That's, that's, that's the fact of the matter. 50% say, yes, abortion rights is an issue that I'm going to stand on. Or they just happen to be in the group. Because I'm not convinced that all 50% think that it's a, it's a right that should be protected. And the other 11% want to pay lower taxes. It's the equivalent of saying, I really want to help you, but uh, I can't be bothered. And, and for fuck's sakes, you just had a referendum on it. Okay, Roe v. Wade was overturned. Okay, the entire world sat around going, wait, I thought that was law. I thought that was decided. You can go back on a decision that has stood for 50 years? Well, yes, you can. Okay, the Republicans stacked the court. Cheeto Man stacked the court. Then you had an election, and the Democrats lost the House. 60% of your population does not support a woman's right to choose. The referendum failed. They didn't vote overwhelmingly for uh, Republicans. Okay, okay, that's another thing. That's another delusional bullshit thing that you American liberals have. A self-described piss drinker, Mehmet Oz, loses by 59%. And you call it a landslide? In what fucking reality is that a landslide? If you came home from school with a... Uh, an algebra test that said that you passed by 59%. You wouldn't then hand the test over to your parents and go, Oh, look, I aced the test. No one in the history of mankind has ever gotten 59% of anything and said, Oh, that was, that was the most I could hope for. What 59% says is that you need to do fucking better. You wouldn't go to a doctor and the doctor says, so well, there's a 59% chance that you don't have cancer. And you say, oh, I'm so relieved. 59% is perfectly fine. I'm going to leave. No, you're going to say, run another fucking test. 59% is terrible odds. We need to raise those odds. 9% is not a landslide. It's a fucking delusion. And, and just think about for a minute what this, what this represents, okay? You, you sit there and you say that most Americans don't support this. Most Americans don't support that. Okay, well, you can say that most Americans support gay rights and gay marriage. But whatever the percentage is above 50% who seem to think that would still rather pay less tax. Oh, I support a black or white man or woman marrying a black or white man or woman, but I would rather pay lower taxes. I support uh, gay people's right to marry, but I'd rather pay taxes. I'd rather pay less taxes. Oh, I support um, realistic gun control, but I would rather pay less taxes. Like, that is the answer that all fiscal conservatives give to everything. I think it's terrible that a 12-year-old incest victim, rape victim, uh, might be forced to carry her unwanted pregnancy to term, but I'd rather pay lower taxes. I don't think the state should put people to death, but I'd rather pay lower taxes. I think Cheeto Man was terrible, but I'd rather... See, okay, okay let's, let's get to Cheeto Man here, okay? In 2016... You had 49% of Americans, plus or minus 1% uh, for error and drift in, um, uh, in representative demographics, 
vote for a person that spent the previous six months telling the entire world what, a, what kind of a terrible person he was. And half the population voted for him. Four years later, after he was done uh, making an insane fool of himself on the international stage, pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, which was non-binding anyways. It was just a, yeah, we'll do the bare minimum, even though we don't have to, and we may not do the bare minimum anyways. Pulling out of the um, Iran nuclear deal, shoving other world leaders aside so he could have a photo op. About 50% said, we still want Cheeto Man. And in fact, it was a numerically higher value of people who voted for him because more people turned out for that election. It just so happened that slightly more turned out to say, now get him the fuck out of office. Do you know what it's called when 51% of a population votes for you to no longer exist? It's called democracy. That is what you created. That's what the world has been constantly clinging to, is that a simple majority is enough for uh, rule. That's what gets laws passed. If a simple majority says that one particular guy deserves to be killed, he is dead. That is democracy. That is your democracy. That is what you created. You didn't create uh, a democracy where you needed a super majority to get things passed. The entire world functions on a democratic system that says if 50% of the population plus one vote wants something, they get it. And what um, liberals and Democrats constantly whine about is when the 50% plus one vote wants something, you say, oh, not a majority wants. That is what 50 plus one per 50 percent plus one vote is. That is a majority. That is a simple majority. Okay, and your entire lives have changed based on that, have hinged on that. The only time that you've ever gotten real progressive change in, in, anywhere in the world is when the representatives of the democracy say people don't know what they want and go their own direction. The decriminalization of um, anti-gay laws, the sodomy laws in um, Britain, Canada, and the United States, all of those laws were decriminalized because someone in power went against the majority. Because the majority back then, in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, when those laws were being repealed, didn't want those laws repealed. They wanted them to stay on the books. Uh, when in Canada, when Tommy Douglas started pushing for uh, our universal health care, Canada's universal, not even Canada's, Alberta's universal health care that spread to the rest of Canada, it was supremely unpopular. Democracy doesn't work. It has never worked. Okay? And, you know, okay, no, no offense to Noam Chomsky, but... There is no need to manufacture consent in a democracy because half of people will always want the other half of people to fuck off and go away. Okay? 51% of people, 51% plus one vote say they want a, uh, a, a fascist dictator leader. That's still a democracy. That's still what you think um, should be fought for that you fight wars for, that you send your kids over to other countries to die and kill people for. It is an insane delusion to constantly repeat to yourself that that's not the way the world works. Oh, uh, Americans aren't bigoted, and yet 50% are, or they want to pay less taxes. Canadians aren't, aren't racist, and yet... Uh, uh, because we have a three-party system, over a third of the population votes for the, the, the racist psychopaths and often elects them into government and keeps them into government for 10 years. The massive difference between the right and the left anywhere in the world is that the right is willing to kill for what they believe in. The left isn't. The left just sits around and hopes. That's all they do. They just sit around and hope. 
constantly for decades. They hope Roe v. Wade is codified and won't be repealed. Then it's repealed. That means you're an, you're an in, ineffectual, delusional nothing. That your hope for 50 years meant nothing, and now it's gone. Rights can be wiped away in an instant while you're hoping it's not. While you're continuously saying that's not the way it works. Meanwhile, the right organizes, they push, they vote in blocks, and you, the enlightened left, debate and argue and dismiss each other. And when you don't agree on something small, you completely fall apart and refuse to, to support one another. You attack one another constantly. You virtue signal constantly. And the result is nothing. You get nothing. That's the result. You are ineffectual losers. That is what the left is. The left are ineffectual, delusional losers. 61% of Americans do not support a woman's right to choose. 50% support the right, and 11% would rather pay less taxes. Period. And even that 50% may not support it. They may just be going along with their group, too. They may just not want to be viewed as a bad person. They may not even care. So fuck off with your meaningless statistic. It doesn't matter what people are willing to say to other people. It matters what people are willing to do.